cutting edge of human knowledge. Physics, the search for understanding of natural laws from forces that act inside atomic nuclei in dimensions smaller than one trillionth of an inch, to the formation of elements, to the evolution of stars and planets, to the phenomenon of the Big Bang that created the universe billions of years ago. The physics department at California State University, Los Angeles, is an active, vibrant unit, which we believe provides unique training in many branches of physics, an unusual amount of laboratory experience, and a faculty vitally interested both in their own work and that of their students. My name is Bill Taylor. I'm a professor of physics here at Cal State University of Los Angeles. We're in my research laboratory, which is a laboratory where we study the properties of uh, metals. One of the advantages of coming to Cal State University of Los Angeles Physics Department is, number one, that we have very small classes so that there's direct interaction between you and faculty members, and number two, that we have uh, lots of opportunities for you to participate in research with faculty members in laboratories such as the one we are now in. In this particular laboratory, we study the properties of metals. That is, we're looking at electrons and atoms in metals and how they interact with each other. Cal State is a very good school to come to. The physics department is very small. Um, it means that each student gets quite a large amount of individual attention. However, there's still plenty of opportunity to um, choose your own project and go out, round up the equipment, build the thing, and make it work. You get plenty of hands-on experience. My name is Michael Beatty, and I'm a physics major here at Cal State. I'm just finishing up my senior year here, and pictured with me is a solar oven, which I built and received an award for from the Society of Physics Students. This oven afforded me the opportunity to use most of the facilities that are available here. There's an extensive machine shop here in the building with highly qualified personnel to help you in any aspect of machine shop, carpentry, sheet metal work, and all other related fields that you might have to use in performing physics experiments or building demonstrations or anything of that type. My name is Tom Conroe. I'm a senior in the physics program here at Cal State LA. I'm a graduate of Temple City High School. In addition to offering the many courses in theoretical physics that you have to have in order to graduate with a degree in physics, we offer many courses in uh, more applied areas. One of these is the Physics 412 class which is called Laboratory Applications of Mini Computing. You learn in this class many of the aspects of hardware interfacing between mini computers and laboratory equipment, and all of the uh, steps involved to programming mini computers to enable you to control and acquire data from laboratory experiments. Hello, my name is Rita Crow. I'm sitting in the tutoring lab in the physics department at California State University at Los Angeles. I originally decided to come to this school because I knew that I could find a lot of opportunities and I could be very creative here. The ratio of faculty to students here is, allows a student to participate in undergraduate research, whereas in most institutions you have to wait till you're a graduate student to have a research project at all. My name is Fernando Morinigo. I am a professor of physics at Cal State Los Angeles. In this particular room, which is the Physics 205 laboratory, the students will do a five experiments during the course of a quarter. And it is interesting to note that all of these experiments at one time or another were experiments that won Nobel Prizes in physics for the physicists who first did them. We have an unusually good shop, and over the years we have built up what we consider to be an outstanding lower division physics experimental program. I'm Dr. Charles Coleman. This is a typical research lab, Cal State LA. And uh, we have graduate and undergraduate students participating in research projects here. We encourage them to start as soon as possible, sophomore year or so. And uh, the more time they can spend in the labs, the better, I think. We're developing new materials that can be used for new types of solar cells, and we modify them in our Van de Graaff generator with a nuclear accelerator. 
And then some other students are looking at computer interfacing with experiments. Some other students are looking at photoimaging properties of semiconductor films. These can be used as photographic films without any chemical processing. And uh, then some other students are looking at uh, low temperature properties, how the materials behave at low temperatures, and how the electrons behave on surfaces of materials. This is another kind of problem that's used in charge coupled devices, integrated circuits, a very popular thing in industry these days. A physics education at California State University, Los Angeles, is by no means only theory. Persons with undergraduate degrees are quickly in demand in industry. Our students often continue graduate studies while already employed in exciting, challenging jobs within their area of interest. We're standing right in front of the main lobby of the White Memorial Medical Center. My name is James Gonzalez and I, I work as a radiological physicist in the Department of Radiology. We do uh, work in the subspecialty of nuclear medicine, diagnostic radiology, and radiation oncology. For example, we do calibration of high energy equipment, such as uh, COBOL-60 uh, teletherapy unit, fluoroscopic equipment, uh, conventional radiography, and calibration of uh, nuclear medicine uh, special gamma cameras. We are at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in the city of La Cañada, Flint Ridge. My name is Tim Thompson. I'm a graduate student in the physics department at Cal State LA, where I got my bachelor's degree some time ago. I work here as a research assistant for a radio astronomy group. We do all phases of radio astronomy, interstellar molecular clouds, planetary atmospheres, and magnetic fields. My thesis advisor at Cal State LA, Dr. Roland Carpenter, has done considerable research here at JPL, and that's one of the ways I got my job here through his connections with the radio astronomy research people here. I'm Ed Benson. I'm a physics major at Cal State Los Angeles. I'm in the Rad Health option, which is uh, one of the several options that are offered in the major. I'm sitting right now in the electron beam welding lab at the place where I work, Isotope Products Lab in Burbank, California. All of the radiological industries are very stable because well, like for instance, 75% of the sources that are manufactured here go towards non-nuclear related fields. They're medical and industrial sources. For instance, medical applications would be for cancer therapy. Industrial would be for uh, thickness testing for materials and so forth. The fact that I'm a RAD health major means that I can accrue quarter units just by working here. I can accrue up to 20 units towards my degree just by working at isotope products laboratories or up to 12 quarter units in my major, physics, for working here. So all in all, I'm very happy with it. My name is Linda Horn. I am currently a graduate student at Cal State Los Angeles. After receiving my bachelor's degree, I started working at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena. There, I am experiment representative for the infrared instrument. I work as a liaison between JPL and the infrared scientists at the Goddard Space Flight Center in Maryland. It is my duty to know and understand the sequences that the scientists wish to do and their priorities. I find my job very rewarding and challenging. It is, of course, the faculty who make a program of study pay off for the students who come to learn and be challenged. At Cal State Los Angeles, the faculty is active and in touch. High quality and accessibility, a perfect combination. My name is Dimitri Margaziotis. Dr. Uh, Marty Epstein and I have been collaborating for a number of years in uh, research on nuclear physics. Uh, this uh, research is uh, supported by a grant from the National Science Foundation, which also includes some support for uh, students in uh, several phases of this work. The actual work that we do involves uh, trying to learn some aspects of uh, very light nuclei, and it's of interest mostly to uh, our basic understanding in uh, nuclear physics. It's not uh, related to uh, applications in nuclear energy production or of uh, military use. The actual experiments that we do are being done at the Canadian laboratory in Vancouver, British Columbia. The laboratory is called Triumph, and its basic facility is a cyclotron that uh, speeds up, up beams of protons to uh, very high energies. 
so that the particles that come out move with the speed of something like uh, three-fourths of the speed of light. I'm Marty Epstein, and as uh, Dr. Margazio has described, when we are finished with the data collection at Vancouver, we come back here to our own computer facility and analyze the magnetic tapes that contain the data that we've collected. We're using our own mini computer, which has been programmed in part, in large part, by our own students. The data are run and played back very much like you play back a movie. Uh, we look at the events piece by piece, pick out the ones that are of interest to us, collect them and form different graphs, uh, spectra, take those information, display them on a screen or print them out on paper, and look at the final results and compare them with theories that have been developed which uh, aid us in our understanding of the structure of very light nuclei. In the last seven years, we've been collaborating with a group of physicists at the University of California in Riverside in building a gamma ray telescope, which enables us to study those radiations that are characteristic of the nuclear processes going on in the stars or in the region between the stars. The calibration of this instrument has been done here at Cal State Los Angeles at our Van de Graaff accelerator. About seven students have been involved in the uh, experiments uh, both uh, here and at Riverside and in the field. I'd like to show you a few slides of our last flight from Central Australia. This first slide, it shows the instrument itself before we've enclosed it in its airtight container. It weighs about two tons. The uh, next slide shows it hanging on the launch vehicle, which is a, uh, a, a crane truck. Uh, and then the third slide, uh, shows the balloon being inflated, this for a night flight. Our flight lasted nearly 20 hours and carried the instrument 400 miles into the remote outback of Australia. And my last slide here shows the instrument as it landed with the happy finders standing in front of it. My name is Larry Gately and I'm a physics student at Cal State LA. I enjoy the physics department here for several reasons. In the upper division courses, the classes are small, so that there's lots of time for question and discussions. The teachers are readily available outside of class, and there's a friendly atmosphere throughout the department. There's also a good opportunity to work with the professors directly. I'm particularly interested in theoretical work and in computers, and the work that I'm doing now with Professor Ganes is a combination of both of these interests. We're using computers to solve complicated equations in order to make certain predictions in atomic physics. This work is uh, applicable in plasma or fusion research and also in the studies of planetary atmospheres. I enjoy Cal State LA because the department is very small and very personal. And that way you can get attention from the teachers and your questions answered very readily. Another thing that I like to say about Cal State also is that it has great opportunities for a lot of people you get a lot of interaction with the instructors. You, uh, you become their friends. You become part of a family. And you uh, learn an awful lot, not just in the laboratory, but also as you walk, as you drink coffee, and uh, those sort of things. And so there are many reasons why serious students come to California State University, Los Angeles, to study physics. Technique, action, theory, opportunities to experiment, modern equipment, outstanding faculty, and low cost. Hi, my name is Jim Simone, and I got my, both my bachelor's degree in math and physics here at Cal State LA, and I also went on to get my master's degree. Um, currently, I'm teaching part-time here. Um, over here, you see a spark chamber that we have been building. This is part one of the um, physics club projects. We have many extracurricular events that we put on over here. Uh, other projects and other events that we've put on are such things as uh, astronomical field trips. Several weeks ago, we went out to uh, an area out in the desert to observe the stars. Um, we had quite a nice time, quite a large amount of participation by people in the physics department. When I first came here, I didn't know that I would be going into physics, but I knew it would be a science or a math, and Cal State LA had a reputation for both of those, so I chose Cal State LA. 
California State University of Los Angeles has uh, about the only program in radiological and health physics here in the Los Angeles area. So I decided to take advantage of that and, and uh, get all the exposure and all the, all the uh, classes which are required to enter the field of radiological and health physics. My name is Jose Ramirez and I came to Cal State for, uh, for two main reasons. One of them I was interested in nuclear physics and solid state physics and I knew that they had a good program here. They have the Van de Graaff, which I was quite interested in, and I knew it was a, an opportunity for me to get involved in nuclear physics. When I was trying to decide what college to go to, I was researching several different colleges. I was really profoundly stunned by the expense of uh, all the different universities, and I was very pleased to find a state university at Los Angeles. When I investigated the expense, it was orders of magnitude less. I came to Cal State LA because, first of all, it's inexpensive, and second of all, the physics department here has facilities that are unequaled in any department at the undergraduate level in the city. Most of the training that I've had, uh, I've gotten at Cal State Los Angeles. Uh, they, the major itself, the Rad Health option, allows for that kind of, that kind of broad-based scientific uh, study. You get training in not only physics but biology and chemistry and uh, you end up with quite, a, quite a, a broad knowledge of science. Physics of California State University Los Angeles. The act of search. A way to see. A place to experiment. A field through which you can grow and to which you can contribute. Training for a life's work of responsibility, excitement and reward.